spend your time here at Long Hair and Stud. Jim and Jane are delighted to have you. We're at Sinterman. We're delighted once again that manager Norbert for his staff. Norbert, you're very welcome here with us. And as a test rider for this assessment for the up and coming stallion, I think that was his official title. So, ladies and gentlemen, Joan Reed with me here. Joan, of course, the kind of information as far as the breeding of horses is concerned. So, the first one in is owned by the Lockhart Stud here itself, it is by the stallion Quick Step out of the dam Lockhart Gypsy. She herself is by Limerick and a full brother of Gypsy's. Jumping 1 meter 50 in the USA, he is first and foremost. Gypsy Zam herself is the mare called Vine. She was ridden by Joss Lansig and jumped internationally. So we're back into the running order again. Kaisel himself, we've mentioned him there, he's back in Germany, of course, now as a four year old. He wasn't here in the springtime because he was back with Torsten. I'm off with him at the end, but I wouldn't tell him for a thousand pounds. But this is his offspring now. See, yeah, that's his first crop of foals here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First crop of foals anywhere. Maybe we better bring the standard of our foes here in Northern Ireland. Yeah, indeed. I mean, certainly uh, with the downturn in the market, there are thoroughbreds coming into sport, and the more thoroughbreds we can get jumping in. I mean, we all remember Jem Twist, the Jump for America, one of the most spectacular show jumpers in the last 20, 30 years. He was a full thoroughbred. And horses like that are, uh, are vital to their industry, that we can see that blood coming through time and time again. Next in, again, of course, this stallion is no longer with us, longer in Korea. It's full owned by Dale Roberts and Ryan Hooper. This is the full name Rydale Toy. Born on the 23rd of March. Lucia, the mayor, she invented the two star level. This is her first full. She's of Polish origin herself. She came from the Patricia yeah. Band South West Norbert.
Cool. Again, John, another one with that real X factor. That seems to be the one thing that's coming through with the Kaiso Fold. Very, very showy and very much full of attitude and full of spark. So will it be mad enough to think about dressage? There's a fold for you. There's Sticks and the Vendor. <laughs> Well, Willie is just telling me here, this is um, not food, but the fire goes to course in the winter time. So uh, if you like the food, you'll have to talk to Willie and course him about semen for next year because it'll be in Germany jumping. So this full filly, born in April, owned by John Carlyle, here by Carrick Reed. Be seen here, of course. And this one from the yard of John Carlyle. Only a three year old mare. Very much again, thoroughbred breeding, Lakeshore Road. The influence of the thoroughbred is not wasted on our German compatriots with the use of uh, Cord Le Bier, who was by Rathnau, the Shell Francais thoroughbred, and Lady Killer and Cottage Son have done it time and time again. And Very interesting form with the German uh, bloodlines in combination with uh, the mares here in Ireland. And we had from the notes, I gave every fall uh, three notes the first note for the type, the first value for the confirmation, and the third value for the movement. And we have the same level then in Germany. We have uh, very good falls, uh, very sporty, long legged types. Um, with supple elastic movements and uh, we have more normal foals, especially the, the jumping bread is uh, not so easy in, uh, to judge as a foal. You can't uh, let foal jumps, you can it, but it's uh, not so good in the end. We don't do that in Germany and so the more important thing is that the horses with a jumping pedigree later than jump, free jumping or better under the saddle, so uh, when the movement is, is not so good as a foal, um, the more important thing is the jumping later. That's very interesting because the first thing there that Norman Dorber said was tight and after that it was athleticism and confirmation. And slightly different to what we're going through at the moment, the transformation of the Irish judging to linear system. And I think the most important is type and athleticism is most important rather than something standing still. But that's very interesting, Norbert, and thank you very much. Thing. It is so that the guys from the Stuttgart can see our foals, 
um, out of the stallions and see if it meets with their approvals. Um, likewise, it's for our breeders to be able to see three or four um, young foals out of various different mares. So I I'm hoping that um, we've managed to, to make that agreement tonight and, and I hope you're ready. And here, John from the Ring Report. And we wanted stallions within the horse register to have a percentage of thoroughbred bump printed so that we know as breeders, hey, that's 40% thoroughbred, that's 80% thoroughbred, and that's very, very important to us. And this report is that Ireland wins medals for Ireland on Irish horses. Thank you very much.